Righto, Toyota champs, now let's have a look at the best graphics card you can get, Wolf. Of course, the RTX 4090 is in a league of its own. It is actually on another planet, I mean, nothing touches the 4090, but in the real world where most of us live, I think this is the best graphics card you can get. This is the ROG Strix Gaming RTX 4070 Ti Super. Yeah, nah, this is the super duper, alright. Because I think the 4070 Ti Super is the best graphics card for most of us. Because I think the RTX 4070 Ti Super represents sort of like the best sort of bang for buck enthusiast card out there unless you want to go to another planet and pay all the extra cash for a 4090. Because this thing here is close to a 4080 or 4080 Super, sort of like within sort of 10 to 20%, depending on the game and the resolutions, etc. Sometimes there's even less, but it's so close that you will not tell the difference in gaming. I promise you that. You will tell the difference in the price you paid though. I mean, when I whacked this into my system, it was astounding. Like, I do have an RTX 4090. Yeah, I know, yeah. I just bought it when it first came out. Just sort of like review purposes or whatever. But I've got to tell you now, for the resolution I use, I use like 1440p sort of widescreen. So I don't 4K game. The 4070 Ti would suit my needs or super. 4070 Ti super? I forgot the super. Yeah, but this would definitely suit my needs. And look, I couldn't tell the difference apart from benchmarks. Like, you know. Now, if I turn off the telemetry and I don't benchmark and I just game, once you sort of pass the refresh rate of your screen, I mean, what's, you know, all those extra frames are meaningless. And for me, most of the time they are. It's only like when I play like Cyberpunk, Max Settings or whatever, like then you can tell the difference between this 4070 Ti Super and a 4090. But I can tell you now, you're not going to be able to tell the difference between this RTX 4070 Ti Super and a 4080 or 4080 Super. So save your money, get this thing. It has 16 gigabytes of memory too. And it has the same sort of memory that you get on a 4080. So basically, this is a 4070 Ti with the memory system of the 4080. So you get that faster memory. Oh, one other thing to mention is the 4070 Ti Super is the most power efficient bang for buck performance per watt out of any of the graphics cards NVIDIA make. So if power was a concern for you, but you want performance per watt, this is the one. This is the ROG Strix Gaming, as I said at the start. I mean, this is just the top, top, top graphics card you're going to get in any sort of segment like so if you ever get the Strix whether you get a 4070 4080 whatever you get the Strix version you're getting the best this thing has the best cooling it has a dual bios by the way i've always wondered what the dual bios is for yes it says performance and silent but in performance mode it's virtually silent well not virtually silent but it's very low noise in performance mode so i've always wondered what's the silent mode for you get an overclock out of the box. Also, you get a higher power limit with this Strix version here. Awesome cooling, RGB, best build quality in terms of, you know, the shroud, the back in plate. It's all just the best there. The, the power delivery is the best, the phases on it. This is all top shelf stuff. You can even connect fans to it. You can sync all your RGB if you get ROG stuff. So the Aura sync there with the RGB. And I actually will be having a Zeus build coming very soon. River Strix, of course. Stay tuned for that. But here's the thing with the Strix, right? It is the best. Like, ROG have never let me down in terms of motherboards and graphics cards. And I tell you, you pay a little bit more for the Strix, all right? You pay more. But you get every cent of that back when you resell. If you go and buy some like MSI or Gigabyte, like top of the range Aorus thing or whatever, I'm not saying they're bad cards. They're going to be good cards. But the Strix is always the one that sells out first. It's the one everyone wants. If money was no object, everyone would buy the Strix version. And it's the one that sells for the highest amount of value. So you get most of your money back compared to other products where basically you paid extra for the top tier card from the other manufacturers, you ain't getting any of that money back. And what I mean by that is the extra you paid for the top tier card, you just don't get it back. With the Strix, I can tell you from experience, everybody wants a Strix, go straight away. If and when it comes time to sell, but I mean, I don't think you're going to have to be selling these cards for a while because NVIDIA are so far ahead of AMD at the moment and I think they're more interested in AI and I don't even know if they care about gaming anymore, but um, this will keep you gaming for a long time and yeah. Strix is the best, 4070 Ti Super, Wolf. Catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.